this tutorial I'm going to have a look at the new 3D Find It tool which has been added to both classic and premium versions of Solid Edge in Solid Edge 2021. So um, it works from the assembly and if you go up to insert component and you can kick it off from here. Um, first thing you probably want to do is go into the um, settings file, go to options and under file locations you need to come down to the 3D find it and set a directory. Um, if you don't do this it will um, add them into um, a folder that gets requested. So if you want to store it with the assembly maybe, maybe leave that unchecked and it will allow you to store that wherever you want. So um, to start off with I want to create some PEMs on the top here. So I'm going to go um, insert components from 3D find it and that brings up the um, search window and from here we've got a number of different ways that we can sort of find parts. So you can um, search for models by catalogs and by um, looking at 3D objects so you'd have to draw up the thing first. Um, at the moment it only works with um, the likes of step files, um, STL. So if you've got something similar or something basic you can um, create that and drop it in here. So from here um, I'm just going to put in a um, query so I'm going to just choose PEM and that gives me a number of options in here. Um, you can see that we, we can scroll down, um, look at what there you could um, look at a specific um, type. I'm going to look at uh, this one here. So as you click on it, it gives you a list of parameters. You can use the left mouse wheel on this view over here to rotate it. If you want, you can sort of show it as a section view. Um, and the other option here is to give you sort of rough dimensions on the actual part. Alternatively, you can go into this view here. Not all of the manufacturers have this version but it does give you a breakdown of, of what sort of dimensions you're looking at on here. Um, I'm interested more in about this size so let's just sort of regenerate and from there all we need to do is um, send to solid edge and that generates the part. Um, I've chosen to put it in that default location if you haven't done that step it will come up with a um, prompt of you know asking where you want to put it so I'm just going to use a uh, flash fit and I'm going to use that edge there and I'm going to drop it against this part here so that's just placed that in and I could place the um, one in at the other end as well so um, that's sort of one one variation and um, we can then sort of go into um, putting a handle on the top here so just having another quick look at this um, one of the other options available. Um, so if I just type in handle, this will give me a um, number of options. I'm not interested in these ones here, um, just the sort of C type ones. So I can actually come in here and just do a quick sketch um, to say that I'm interested in something in this sort of shape. It doesn't have to be too um, detailed. So you add the sketch and then you do your search. So once that's um, gone through the list of possibilities, it will generate me some examples. And from here, you know, you can sort of see that we've got much better um, return on what we were after. Um, I think I want to go with maybe this brand here. Again, we've sort of lost um, 
lost your option so we just go search again and that sort of brings it down into a better um, set of results so I can come in here and have a look at this so let's just take a look at this view um, not quite what I'm after um, or not sure so um, I could go if I wanted to similar parts or just click on another one as well um, maybe this one as well so it gives me another a variation um, and then you can sort of just click on the compare option and um, from here you can sort of um, overlay them get a better sort of feel for which one you're after um, sort of do a, do a proper compare um, so then we can sort of say you know I'm, I'm after um, this one here um, I don't want it as being um, that size so let's go back Falls was the one that I was after so I can go back in and edit that on 120 cap and from here um, that's the sort of what I'm after so I can just go centre solid edge and then again that will generate the part for me so I can then come in here and I'm going to start with a XLR line. And again, I'll do the same on the other side. And then to finish off, I want to do a mate. and set it on the top of the part here so as you can see it's sort of quite a quick way of, of locating and finding parts again it's only available in the classic or premium versions um, and it's sort of quite a valuable tool um, so yeah give it a try if you've got those versions and um, yeah see what see what you think